Guys, so I want to turn this into a radio-controlled Lamborghini. So just like on a real Lambo, it's got to go crazy fast. <laughs> you smoking donuts. <laughs> Do crazy high speed launches. So we don't need this anymore, or this, or this. So just like on a real Lamborghini, this is four wheel drive and has lots of power. So all that we need now is a body. Oh, it's Christmas every day. Are you sick and tired of your big, fat, tired-looking wallet? Then check this out. The Extra Super Slim High Quality Wallet. So this video is sponsored by Extra. Let's have a look. So this is the James Bond of wallets. So you hit this button here and out come all your cards. You open up the wallet. You've got space for more on this later. Got space there for money or paper or anything else. Just look at the size of it compared to my old wallet. That feels so much nicer in the pocket. And they're made from environmentally friendly materials like leather, carbon fibre and aluminium. Greta will be happy. They have RFID blocking technology so no one can come along and scan and steal your details from your cards. Now this here is a solar powered tracker. If you leave it out in the sunlight for two hours it's going to give you three months of charge. Now you can put this inside your wallet like this and if you want to ever leave your wallet behind anywhere you can go over to your mobile phone, open up the app and see where you left it. And extra make even slimmer wallets like this aluminium one here. You can get up to 35% off this Black Friday sales if you check out my link shop.exta.com forward slash Kevin Talbot or use my promo code Talbot at checkout. We will cut it all out around here. We've got a spoiler, a splitter, stickers. So let's get it all fitted, then take it out for a rip. Yes! But before that, I've got a quick story to share with you guys because I've had a lot of comments from people saying, how can you afford a Lamborghini? How can you afford monster trucks? How can you afford all these RC cars? So quick story time, and then we're going to get to fitting this and then take it out for a rip. So you know, this is my story, but maybe you can do something similar. So a few years ago, I actually had a crappy 9 to 5 job that I really hated. Really didn't enjoy it at all, so I decided to quit that job and to pursue my dream of making a full-time income from the internet. Now, I tried many different things. I tried affiliate marketing, I tried online articles, I tried eBooks, you name it, I tried it. And eventually, I stumbled across eBay. And that pretty much worked, pretty much off the get-go. And I started, as the, as the money was coming in, I was putting more money back in to buy more products and building better listings. And I read many books and I was learning and learning and learning. And eventually I built it up to like an eBay store. Uh, it made a pretty good income. It, it sort of it allowed me to get cars like this, uh, to build monster trucks and to sort of, you know, have all these RC cars and other toys that many people could only dream of. So it all started off with a dream, but then I sort of turned it into reality. And, you know, the trick is, is to work a little bit smarter and hard as well. You know, hard work on its own is not going to cut it. You know, you can be... You could be doing 14, 15, 16 hours a day digging ditches or flipping burgers. And, you know, if you've got dreams like this or this or, or whatever else, it's probably not going to cut it. So you've got to learn to work a little bit smartly. And, you know, so I've, a lot of people ask me how I did it. You know, they're interested in how they can do it too. So, you know, I put together a little program to teach people how to do this eBay game the way that I do it. Uh, so it's not going to cost you anything. It's fully free. I'm going to put a link to it down below. It's just going to get you going off how you can start selling on eBay. And it's going to get you on the road and making some money. Maybe. Not for everybody. But business isn't for everybody. You know, that's why you've got the 99% and you've got the 1%. Now, I've got a paid for eBay course as well uh, where I teach people all of my secrets. I put 50 grand of my own money into testing all this stuff to see what works and see what doesn't work. And I put it together in this program. Um, and I've got many people, hundreds of people in on this program uh, that are making thousands every month. Link down below, there's a, there's a free version that's going to get you making some money, maybe. There's a paid for version that's got everything in it that I know, that I teach you everything that I've learned. Uh, also 30-day 30, 30 money back guarantee, so you've really got nothing to lose. So if you've got dreams of fast cars, dreams of monster trucks, dreams of working for yourself, or whatever else your dream might be, having a nice house, it's out there, it's doable. You just have to take action, and you have to find something that can work for you, and once you find something that works, then just scale it up and go all in. And then the world's your playground, guys. You can have pretty much what you want. Right, let's get cutting this out. So I've roughly cut round the most of it now. So now I've got to go around it all again, take my time and do it all properly and neatly. 
So next, we have to cut this piece out. Boom! Check it out. So here we've got a splitter. The idea of this is to go under here like that, and we can paint it black. However, I don't like this piece sticking out the furthest, because when we crash, the body's going to get it. Also, if you want to rip a burn out, I like resting it against a splitter that's already there. So... I want to make my own splitter and then if we leave that splitter on there look the body is sitting a little bit too high so what i'm going to do i'm going to cut along this line here get rid of this piece bring that body down make my own splitter that goes onto the chassis it's going to be a lot stronger it's going to look almost just as good we can even replicate this same shape on there it's going to look good on the rear we're sitting on this diffuser here so i think we're just going to either cut a little slot out of the body or i'm probably just going to cut the end of the diffuser off actually Yep, that's looking much better now. Next, we've got to cut the back off. Do you know what, guys? I always like it when bodies on RC cars and on real cars are mounted as low as possible. I don't like it when they're all jacked up and it's got all gaps underneath and everything. <laughs> yes, guys, it's starting to look better. So next, I messed about with a body mount. So I've taken the front one off and I replaced it with a 20 millimeter one, the same that comes with the back one. So now all we've got to do, body on, put some holes in, put the spoiler on, paint it, then go bash it. I reckon that is sitting really nice now. We can lower the suspension and really deck it if we want to, but naturally, it wants to sit like that. We've got the body level with the chassis. Lovely jubbly. So now with that all mounted, we need to make a new splitter. And for that, we're going to use a piece of this Lexan. Beautiful. If we look on a real Lambo, you can see all the front end here. It's all open. So I think I'm going to cut this out as well here. Also, that's going to get a bit of airflow to go inside the body and keep everything cool. Now, if we're going for world speed records, you do not want any air going into the body, really. Uh, but, you know, we're just going to be happy with sort of 100 mile an hour. So air going in perfect and we mainly want to sort of street bash it, you know, drift it around, smoke the tires. We really want to get cooling in there. Yes. Guys, when we're wrenching on camera, it makes everything like 10 times more difficult and take 10 times longer. You've always got, got the camera in the way. You're doing stuff cack-handed. We've done this entire monster truck build on camera. It just makes everything take so much longer. So guys, subscribe to support all the efforts. Look, 69% of you viewers are not subscribed. And subscribing's free. All you gotta do, click on the button, that's it, boom. You're subscribed, and then YouTube's gonna show you more content from the people that you like watching, hopefully me. Then you'll also be notified every time I drop a new video. Then that way, you're not gonna miss any of these videos. That's if you wanna watch them. If you don't wanna watch them, uh, then go watch PewDiePie. And also, if you guys like these videos, give us a thumbs up because it really does help out the channel. Right, anyway, with all that waffle out of the way, we've now gotta pick a color. So here we have a whole load of different colours. On the real one, I've gone for quite a plain colour because I don't really want it standing out too much. I got it for myself, really. I just want to enjoy driving it. But with the RC car, I want it to stand out and be really popping in your face. So yellow, maybe? Blue looks really nice. So does the green. <laughs> so here, we're just sanding the body slightly just to give the paint something to stick to. Then we're going to paint it. Then we're going to back it with white to make the colour pop. I hope you like that colour choice, guys. I reckon it looks absolutely epic. So next, we're going to chuck on some white. Oh my God, this colour is loud. Oh, check it out, guys. I think we could do a little bit of tinting on the windows. There we go, it is complete. What do you reckon to that, guys? If you want to know where you can get one from, I'm going to put a link to that down below. Right, let's go rip. Here we are, on location. Right, 
right, next location. So this time we're gonna get some more drifts going on. We've also got an onboard camera. Check out this beautiful Lambo body. We've got to really try not to break it. Just like on the real Lambo, I want to see if we can smoke the tyres. So I'm just testing these new batteries here from Onyx. Onyx are trying to make the world's best batteries for speed running, for bashing, and a whole load of other stuff. These ones here are the bashing series. So I'm going to chuck a set of them in here and see if we can smoke some tyres. By the way, if you want to know where we can get this body shell from, where you can get the car from, the lipos, the controller, and everything else that you see in this video, there's a link to all of that down below. Burn out time. Oh man, absolutely tipping it down. We're not gonna be getting any smoke in that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> ESC didn't like it. It cut out, but we got smoke and, oh dear. Poor workbench. Oh man, look at all the smoke in here now. Yes, a little bit of smoke, but we need more power. Speed controller cut out again. I think in the future video, we might make it rear wheel drive, give it more horsepower, and give it a front line lock so we can lock up the front brakes on the controller and rip a fat smoking burnout with the rear wheels. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. And subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it. Oh.